in this tip of the day, let's take a look at creating diametrical dimensions. Now, first of all, you're going to need geometry in which we can create the diametrical dimensions. So if you only have half of the geometry created, we can always mirror the geometry by hitting Control A, Control Alpha on the keyboard to select everything. Then select your mirror command. And all we need to do is come over to the left, make sure that we have copy selected. And all we need to do now is just left click two points along the axis line. And when we're done, we can right hand mouse click or hit the escape key on the keyboard. With our geometry created, we can start to create our diametrical dimensions. Head over to the command manager, select your dimensions icon and select vertical dimension. We're going to left click, left click. I'm going to place my dimension right about there. That looks good. And once we do that, we get our dimensioning dialog box. You're going to notice there's a diametrical symbol right here. Simply left click that and one CNC will automatically insert the symbol to the left of the dimension. If we click OK, you can see the results just like that. Let's do that again. Let's create another vertical dimension. I'm going to left click, left click. Let's place this dimension right about there. Same technique. We're going to wait till the dimensioning dialog box appears and then we can click on the diametrical symbol and then we can click OK. Now when creating dimensions, if you don't see your dimensioning dialog box, let me show you how you can still add a diametrical symbol. We'll head back over to the command manager, go into vertical dimension. I'm going to left click and left click. Let's place this dimension right about here. Now I set one CNC up so that it's not going to show us that dialog box. So what you can do is this, after you've created the dimension, head over to the command manager, select edit dimension, and then left click on the dimension. And from there, you'll get your dimensioning dialog box. And now you can easily add the diametrical symbol and click OK. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.